I feel your passion. I hear it. Yes. And I also sense an incredible certitude from you, a belief that you are right. There is not a shred of self-doubt in you. How can you reach that level of certitude about Islam, your belief that you know what Islam is? I look at your record. You, you've spent an awful lot of time in the Middle East, but actually almost all of it's been in Israel. You've visited Israel. That's not true. Well, hang on. You've visited Israel more than 40 times. You've lived in Israel. Have you lived in Turkey? Have you lived amongst Muslims, let's say, in Michigan, in the United States, or amongst Muslims actually in your own country, in the Netherlands, Muslims who are moderate, law-abiding, peaceable people living in a democracy and accepting the rules of a democracy. Can, there are hundreds of millions of Muslims who you have apparently no knowledge of. I do. I visited not only uh, more than you think um, Arab and Islamic countries like I stated uh, before, not only my friends, indeed though as my friends, I'm not ashamed to say that, uh, of Israel. So, uh, and I spoke to many people from the clergy to the intellectuals to uh, even journalists uh, um, I spoke uh, to. And I acknowledge once again the fact that in our societies there are a majority of the Muslims that are uh, in fact not terrorists. But I know that if the amount of them will grow and if their culture will become more dominant, that it will change. And that the concept of taqiyya that they are stating now by not really saying and showing often who they are will change if they become stronger. And I'm not the first one. Maybe no. I want to emphasize one thing because you said, how can you be so sure? I want to tell you one thing because you are a British journalist. I remember reading a book um, called The River War by Winston Churchill. It was published in 1899 and Winston Churchill at that time said very clearly that Mohammedism is a militant faith and we may lose our civilization in Europe. And unfortunately what I see today that we have a total lack of political leadership. The leaders in, in, in Europe and in the European countries are not behaving like Churchill, they are behaving like Chamberlain, selling out, um, selling out with the enemy which is Islam, selling out our culture, our identity, and I'm a politician that stands up and says enough is enough, Islam is not part of our culture, should never be and will never be. But here